Hi everybody. I um, am making this video uh, for anyone who is upgrading to Windows 10. Windows 10 was released on um, July 29th uh, for the public. For anyone who has Windows 7, uh, Windows Phone, uh, Windows 8.1, get a free upgrade. Any older version of Windows are not getting free upgrades. But anyhow, this is the way it looks. This is the new environment here of Windows um, uh, 10. It's very different. It has a, a the start, the famous start menu here, and the start basically has the tiles. So it's not a full tile screen; it's a partial tile screen. So it's here. Here, what you would do is uh, po put your tiles. These are all live. Most of them are live tiles, which means they're interactive. Um, they'll give you information up to date. Um, so this is the, basically the way it is. Um, you have, um, different from Windows, you have your settings screen here, which if you open your settings, it's very different. You have your systems, devices. Now it's very easy to use, personalization, you can set up different accounts, um, languages, ease of use. So let's say for example, you use one language and your wife likes Spanish or likes Chinese or likes a different language, whatever. What you can do is set up an account for her and her language, and when she logs in, everything would be for her and her language. Everything would be, you know, it's very good. Um, so this is basically the settings menu. So there's a lot of options here that I, I advise you, you play with it and look around. The other thing you're going to get confused in when you when you open up Windows is that, um, you know, besides this menu, which means let's say for example, you like a particular app, okay? I have here all the regular apps like Facebook, which you could move around. You could put wherever you like. So this is the different things you could do um, on the app uh, store. But let's say you go into the app store. The app store also has a very new look to it. Just look at this wonderful look at the app store. And here you can, you know, find whatever apps you need. You just type in the app. Let's just say we're looking for, you know, movies. Let me give you an example. Okay, movies particular app for movies that'll come up. Let's say we got an uh, app like Hulu. I don't use Hulu, but for this um, test, let me show you an example. You would, you would get Hulu, it's a free app. You would, um, free, you would install it into your system. Okay, and it would, it would um, upload. So 10.3 megabytes, it would upload the app, just like a phone, just like a tablet. It's basically the same environment. Um, you can open it through here, but what we're going to do is we're going to close this, okay? We're going to look at it here. And see, now Hulu appears here as a recently added app. So you could take Hulu now, and you could bring it over here, and you can have it in the group of tiles. And you can take Hulu, and you can uh, resize it, if you like, to a, a wider size, so you can make it wider, okay? Uh, th there's a lot of options you have here, so with sizes, a large size also big size. So there's a lot of things you can do here, similar to your phone, similar to everything, you know, that you do. And this is the way the tiles work. This will always bring up the latest um, apps you have downloaded. The other thing is, uh, just like a phone, a Windows environment, you can look at all apps. So here, here is the computer environment. When you hit all apps, now you have all the apps here. So if you have any app that you don't have on your tile window, you can just basically move it over, and um, you know it's pretty pretty easy to use. For example, Maps is a new app here. I don't have it, so I'm going to move it over here. So see, it's pretty simple. You just move it over, and, and that's it. You got Solitaire is a new app. I can move it over. It says it's already pinned. You see, so um, there's different things you can do. Movie already pinned. You see, so there's apps that are, you know, it's pretty good, pretty pretty good software. It's pretty exciting to use it. Uh, Windows has come a long way with this. What they're doing is across the board in every single software, they are um, um, putting this environment in everything. So everything is going to be Windows 10 now across the board. If you haven't upgraded, what you do is you go to the website, okay, Windows, and these are these are some that I had recently opened up. So you go to Windows. This is um, Microsoft.com, Microsoft.com. And basically there, you look for your uh, products, um, a support feature, and in support, you'll see uh, information on the different products, okay? 
what you need to do. But in products, you would see um, Windows. And Windows, you hit it over, you see Upgrade, Upgrade for free. So when you hit Upgrade for free, that should take you to uh, a different window that would show you the upgrade. Now since I've already upgraded, my, the, my machine recognizes that I've upgraded. It's basically just telling me how to upgrade. So I reserved it ahead of time. That icon appeared on my uh, computer and automatically on, on July 29th when the upgrade was available, I got the upgrade. So if you haven't upgraded, this is what you would do is just go and upgrade, um, upgrade Windows. And then you can go ahead and just download it to your system. You'll save all your files. And you know, it's just a pretty, a pretty awesome software. It works really, really good. It has some excellent features. Um, you know, if you want, see, the, basically, what's doing here? It's, it's just like a, 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 it's showing you all the windows you have open here. So if I want to use, you know, you can have a lot of different programs open. So I use this program. I can just, you know, double click on it, and there it goes. Okay. You see, if I want to close it, you close it. It's gone. If you want to minuscule, you make it smaller. If you want to see them, you just tap here, and they all come up. You see? So that's basically it. You just double click on it, and there it goes. And if you want to see another one, you just click on it. You know, it's there. Okay? So there's a, there's a lot of things you can do here with Windows, and uh, I recommend you upgrade, uh, play with it, see if it's good for you, and, um, you know, hopefully you, you will enjoy it. Okay? This is a pretty, pretty awesome software for everybody. It has the basic player, the player we're all used to, to listen to music. You can have some upgrades if you want, but the, this is the, the basic player we use. So here's my music collection. I didn't lose anything. My music is all there. Okay, so this is what, what you need to do. Um, and, you know, all your programs won't be lost. You could add different things here, like, you know, eBay, Netflix, you know, Google. This is very user-friendly. So uh, good luck, recommend um, downloading it, and um, it's quite an experience. Thank you very, very much.